begin tonight with fallen NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. Long lines again today at the wake for officer Diller. Funeral services will be held tomorrow morning. Diller died a hero, shot and killed Monday after pulling over a car in Far Rockaway, Queens. The accused shooter charged with murder. He was a passenger in that car. The driver is facing weapons charges. Officer Diller, a three year veteran of the force, was only 31, married with a baby. I want to reporter Shante Lance is live at the funeral home where that wake is being held. Shante. Well, Liz and Bill, it's another day of grief, another day of thousands of mourners coming here to pay their respects, to honor and remember a hero cop, Officer Jonathan Diller. A sea of blue, a long line standing somber for a second day to bid goodbye to one of their own fallen NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. There's nothing harder than losing one of our own. And there's nothing harder than seeing a family at the hospital in this wake devastated. Over in Queens, where Officer Diller worked, a moment of silence at City Field in his honor before the Mets home opener. Today, emotional, tearful hugs among nurses, co-workers of Diller's wife, rallying support around her and Diller's nine-month-old baby boy. It's very, very heartbreaking what happened. Mother and daughter Angela and Teresa Cimarella say Officer Diller grew up next door to them in Franklin Square. I remember when his mom had him, it was very, very sad. There's no, no words. Um, it's very upsetting. The 31-year-old was a cop for just three years before he was viciously shot and killed Monday afternoon during a traffic stop. Police say by this man, 34-year-old Guy Rivera of Queens. The repeat offending ex-con was charged with murder of a police officer, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. Today, Governor Kathy Hochul met briefly with Officer Diller's family. Long Island Republican Congressman Anthony D'Esposito and Andrew Garbarino also meeting with the family. Congressman D'Esposito, a former cop himself, brought to tears when I asked him about burying his own brother in blue. I, uh, I don't think you really ever heal. You know, this is a terrible tragedy. You have uh, a one-year-old that is never going to have a father again because we continue to allow uh, lifelong criminals on the street. And the alleged shooter, Guy Rivera, has 21 prior arrests. Just like yesterday, there are two wake services. The first was from 2 to 4 p.m. The second starting in a little under an hour at 7 p.m. It ends at 9. Officer Jonathan Diller will be laid to rest tomorrow.